yes. <laughs> You've to changed right. too. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Ashley in a couple months, but uh, she did come back down here. The first thing she did was pop up on my doorstep, you know, and say hey to me. We got in touch for a little while. We spoke to her. I knew she was engaged, but it's been a long time since I've seen her. Really. It's been a few months since we've actually talked. Yeah. I'm still running to him every once in a while, too. Oh. <laughs> Keep in touch with your friends. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been knowing Ashley since we were 13, 14 years old. Running the roof. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in trouble sometimes. Sometimes it was. She was there when I had my first daughter. She's always had my back, regardless. <laughs> I still carry that on today. <laughs>
Excuse me. Like, um, music, I didn't know who she was, this and that. Um, fashion, Wicca, just all these things I didn't know about. And I just wish I did, because then I could have talked to her. Yeah. She loved you. I know that way <laughs> Thank you, brother. I didn't know actually, I knew actually. I think it was her 14th birthday. I crashed <coughs> with Robert and some friends because he wanted me to meet his girlfriend, and I was like, I don't like chicks. Or <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up talking all night. Me and her, like, girls are scandalous. Yeah, dude, they are. Like, yeah, you know, and that, that was it. <coughs> From that moment on, it was like, that's it. She's been my soulmate ever since. And there might be a year we might not talk. You know, we take different paths sometimes, but it just takes that one phone call, like, I need you, or I miss you, and then it's like, nothing changed. <laughs> we be the link again, and it was just, she's always been my sister. I don't have many. Well, that was it. It was, it was her. Part of my life. Definitely. You are my mom. I am. I got you kicked out mom? many times and lived with y'all, you know? <laughs> then she come live with me, and it was just, it was awesome. That's why I'm so mad about the flood. I was like, she, she would have always had a place, you know? She needed a place to go clear ahead. It was there. Yeah. So, I miss her. Um, I just don't know. I had so much to say. I've been writing for weeks. <laughs> She's writing novels weeks. already, you know, so. You know? <laughs> so I wrote a lot, and I was like, I, I don't know. It jumps all over the place. I noticed it says a lot of I and me and we, and I was like, I didn't want it to be all about that, but I don't know. My brain has been really messed up for a couple weeks now, and I can't. Um, a very good job. Thank you. That's your pill. No, I haven't. I've got oh, Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm get everybody. Um, so I'm Karen. Um, I met Ashley probably a little over 10 years ago uh, at Lanyap Seafood in Baker. They stuck her with me to train her as if, I, as if I needed to. I, I took one look at her and knew that there wasn't a thing I needed to do. And, you know, I'm like, you guys, Rachel, you know, it was a chicks are shady, man. And yeah. just, it, it, we, we hit it off right away. And just, she was, she was my best friend. She was always there for me. And she helped me go through everything that I went through with my ex-husband. And when I finally left and I couldn't take my kids with me, she made it a point every day to go over to where, you know, my ex-husband was and to take pictures of my kids and give me updates every day. And she'd drive down to Metairie to come see me. And, she, she was my sister, like she was my best friend, and like Rachel said, you know, we'd go a year or so without talking, and just one phone call, one Facebook post, and one tag, and then that was it, it was like nothing, no time had passed at all. <laughs> my husband, very sad that he couldn't make it today, but um, Ashley actually moved in with us for about a year, and the two of them bonded, and um, so he said, Yes, she did. <laughs>